ES Audio. Hello, I'm Mark Blunden and this is the Evening Standards Tech and Science Daily. Coming up, why the Megalodon may have been killed off by the Great White Shark. But first... The European Union has agreed to block 90% of Russian oil imports by 2023, but only what's tankered by sea and not the product coming via pipelines, after protest from Hungary, which largely relies on Kremlin-backed land supply. This is an important step forward. Um, the remaining 10% on these one, we will soon return to the issue um, of these remaining 10% pipeline oil. That's European Commission President Ursula von der Leyen who added that Germany and Poland are planning to cut their oil imported by pipeline by the end of the year. The European Council says its latest sanctions package will cut into Vladimir Putin's war chest to help block financing of the invasion of Ukraine as well as agreeing new bank transfer and insurance bans. To be able over time to completely diversify away from Russian fossil fuels. That is our goal. And therefore, uh, we have now a very clear roadmap uh, on the table. Just over a quarter of the EU imported oil and 40% of the bloc's gas is supplied by Russia, which is worth over £340 billion every year. Consumer groups are urging a crackdown on what's been described as exploitative and manipulative loot boxes in video games. Campaigners in 18 European countries say the sale of bonus items inside games are akin to gambling because the buyer can't see its contents until they've paid up. The authors of the report, that's the Norwegian Consumer Council, says it means gamers are being conned into spending large amounts on loot boxes in a practice they call predatory and exceedingly aggressive. And the council says that the worst issue with the sale of the mystery digital bonus items is that they're aimed at children. with gaming you've never backed down from anything in your life even when you maybe should have it appears there were legions of gamers just itching to get their thumbs on the cyberpunk 2077 next gen update this spring reports suggest the update boosted the sci-fi title's sales by several hundred percent on the PlayStation and Xbox. It comes after the title's developer's CD project said last month that 18 million copies of the title have already been sold. The scientific body behind the James Webb Space Telescope has laid out plans to explore the geology of a pair of small rocky planets 50 light years away in greater detail than ever before. The analysis after the telescope completes its final commissioning phase includes two planets a little bigger than our own, which are colloquially known as super-Earths. One of the planets has a surface of lava and the other lacks much of an atmosphere that could support life that we know. The project aims to collect surface signals and thermal emissions. The team behind the Super Space Telescope say techniques being developed for scanning and analysing features of the faraway planets will help future research into planets like our own lurking further away in the universe. Now, research suggests the Megalodon, that's the biggest shark ever to have roamed the oceans, suffered its demise as apex predator after the fearsome Great White essentially won the food chain. By studying traces of zinc elements in the teeth of the megalodon, scientists at universities including DePaul in Chicago think the more versatile Great White triumphed in the quest for the same foods that's the likes of whales and dolphins. At the peak of its influence, the megalodon weighed up to 50 tonnes and reached 65 feet long. That's over triple the size of the Great White. And the evidence of their ocean rain is still chilling. Millions of years later, we give you Exhibit A, a mouthful of those serrated seven-inch teeth. An earthquake measuring 3.8 on the Richter scale rocked Middle England as residents of Shropshire, Staffordshire and Gloucestershire reported their houses shaking. One householder in Shrewsbury described the family home as shaking from side to side after the seismic event on Monday afternoon. British Geological Survey confirmed the earthquake happened about five miles below the Earth's surface, which is believed to have happened due to shifts in the Earth's crust. It was the most powerful quake since 2018, when 4.4 on the Richter scale was recorded from tremors in Wales and southwest England. Let's go to the ads. Stay there for more news from the world of tech and science, plus the English fish and chip shop that's become a viral hit thanks to a TikTok earworm. Why not hit rate and follow in the meantime? 
welcome back. An inner city oasis at the Tower of London that's next to one of the capital's most polluted interchanges has been planned to celebrate the Queen's Platinum Jubilee. This previously was a short mown, expansive lawn that nobody used, nobody could go into it, had really little value for wildlife. That's Nigel Dunnett, the project's horticulturalist. The Tower of London's Super Bloom project aims to bathe the tower's historic moat in colour so it becomes a welcoming new habitat for pollinating insects and seed-eating birds. What is great is that where it's really worked, which is over most of it is doing exactly what I would hope it would be doing uh, on the, the opening time which is just having the first few flowers coming through amongst a lovely haze of green leaves. Nigel explains how London's weird weather has impacted the project. We did a lot of risk assessment but I don't think we really thought it could be as bad as it has been because it's been an incredibly dry spring. Not just dry but it's been really cold as well. In fact it seems to be continuing. And finally, a fish and chip shop in England's East Midlands has become a smash hit on TikTok. Binley Mega Chippy in Coventry realised the business with its distinctive red and yellow frontage. It had gone viral when queues started snaking around the block and customers turned up from as far afield as Portugal and Australia. Its popularity exploded after a user posted something of an earworm song in honour of the chippy, which has now been viewed over half a million times. you're up to date come back at 4 p.m for the leader podcast where we bring you the latest news interviews and analysis from the evening standard here in london and we'll be back tomorrow at 1 p.m